I was born in a place called Little Africa, South Carolina. My quest to become a doctor actually started when I was eight years old. My little sister asked my mom if she could have a little brother. And my mom told us at that point, her first child was actually a little boy. He was born at six months old. And so he lived for three days and passed away. That was the first time I ever remember my mom crying. And I decided at that point that I wanted to become a physician so I could make sure that people didn't have to cry anymore. My day started early. I was from a single parent home and my mom worked at a textile mill. We would actually arrive to the school before the school opened. If I could find a book, I was reading a book. Mrs. Hosley, she was my third and my sixth grade teacher. She made it appear natural for you to have these aspirations of being these great things like a doctor. Graduated 2008 from MUSC with my medical doctorate. I went into anesthesia residency at MUSC, then stayed on for a fellowship in critical care medicine. What you really have to do is think this is someone's mother, this is someone's, someone's daughter, you know, this is their husband. Someone's depending on you to actually live. The thing that inspired me to get in the Gloss Project was to think back to where I was at that stage of life. Gloss is girls loving ourselves successfully. You know, it's actually founded by a surgical resident that was here, Dr. Vivian B. And she said, you know, Ebony, I have this idea for us to serve as mentors for these young girls whose lives resemble where we came from. This is a circle of trust. What the girls get from opening up is to see that someone listens. All kids, they just want to make someone happy. We can make and funnel that energy into a positive. There's a tremendous amount of progress that we can make as a society. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. You always look at your life and you don't see it as being a beacon of light. I still see myself as being that little girl that's just literally living out her dream of what she always wanted to do. It's funny to consider yourself someone as a role model. It would be really nice if I did influence some, some little girl to achieve her dreams. Thank you.